Okay. Uh, all right. So software. This is uh, an interesting thing because I think that where DJI has has tried to create software in which is fully compatible and integrated within their own products, but many people are using third-party stuff. Uh, so can we talk about what apps, like for instance, the DJI Terra, you have been in many privileged places in which you know a lot about photogrammetry software and you know the pros and cons of other software developers. For Terra, is it particularly good or or leading in any of these things or is it kind of like a introductory thing how does how does dji really position terra uh, as a as a modeling surveying platform sure so how we position terra is we wanted to have a all-in-one solution so something that isn't just hardware and then you got to go find the software that you want to be able to process we want to be able to offer that for you as well so you can go from mission planning with pilot 2 flying the drone with pilot 2 capturing the data and then being able to kick it over to an engine so you have outputs rather than having to necessarily rely on the drone deploys and the pix 4 ds and the agisofts mm -hmm. but all of our data is just tagged and so you can dump it to whichever platform you want i will say using a lot of different platforms out there i've got a lot of friends at drone deploy so it's not like i'm hating on anything but when it comes to 3D modeling, it really seems like Terra has gone, is about the closest when you look at Bentley context capture. That's kind of the, mm -hmm. the industry standard or the gold standard as far as 3D model reconstruction. Terra seems to be right up there with them. When it comes to 2D ortho mosaics, we do have a really good tool to be able to build that. And that's more in the Pix4D and the drone deploy line, being able to build really good, really large ortho mosaics we're happy to take that on to it, Tara. But when it comes to vertical and 3D, I would at this point just put Terra up against nearly anything. And the ease of use and the price, especially when you compare it to context capture, it blows that part out of the water too. Hit like four buttons and you process rather than needing a bunch of different software. So I really enjoy Terra. It's also an, a solution that's only on desktop. So if you do need to be able to process data real time at the field's edge without having to upload to the cloud, that has that option as well. Gotcha. And, and there's this three month uh, license that's included. And I it's I don't I didn't dig in deep enough. Is this for Mavic 3 Enterprise only or is this for multispectral and thermal as well that you get that license? You do get I think it's mainly just with the multispectral. Um, it's okay. that's a little bit fuzzy as far as we're having that, but then we're not having as much of the DJI care unless you would purchase that. Um, if you are interested in trying Terra at any point, I can't guarantee three months, but feel free to reach out to Randall or I, and we'll be able to get something on there so that you can start processing your data in Terra and at least try it out. Sounds good. And then uh, Flight Hub, if you don't know what Flight Hub is, that would take a, a while for us to explain it. But basically, it's going to be all sorts of like uh, fleet management, data management. Uh, is there any live mission, streaming. Anything, anything else we're missing on that front that we'd want to talk about? Live streaming. And it's a lot more focused on public safety, search and rescue. Yeah. So if you have questions about Flight Hub, holler, and then the thermal analysis tool, uh, DJI has been putting it, their own thermal sensors on products for the last few years, and to be able to tune the imagery after uh, after capture, that's what the analysis tool is for. Um, I've never used it, but I know quite a bit about thermal analysis tools in general, so uh, maybe there's some things that could be done on that as far as maybe a future webinar or uh a, another discussion but if you have questions about that dji does have their own tool for that if uh if you are interested on the thermal uh side of things